What's going on guys and man do I got some sad news for you guys today. You probably already know by looking at the title and the thumbnail but Terra's publisher Anmas Entertainment will be shutting down after 11 years. So let's jump right into the video and discuss it further in depth. So Terra's shutdown was announced on the Facebook page of Anmas. They made the big announcement of their sudden shutdown. Currently, we don't know for sure what's going to happen to their MMOs following the shutdown. This is quite sad because Terra just received a much needed bonus to the entirety of the system, which is their big movement from 32-bit compatibility to now 64-bit compatibility. But on the plus side of all the sadness, Anmas is currently helping their employees find brand new homes and companies over the next couple of weeks and months. Now, Terra is saved in a way. So Anmas did mention as well that the support for Terra and even their other game Closer will continue to receive support. So we still have time to still enjoy the new compatibility version of Terra and the brand new dungeons that came with the update as well. So throughout this video, I've spoke about Terra, it's brand new compatibility, which is currently now at 64 bit. Ever since the game been out, it was always a 32 bit compatibility, which and would bring along. This is quite the impressive upgrade to Terra because of the fact of the entire community. We all went through the crashes. We all went through the performance issues and etc. etc. This update was effective as of August 11th and two new things were also added to the update which is a 20 player raid and the two dungeons called Rift's Edge and Rampaging RK9. So let's dig a little bit further into these two brand new features. So the Commander's Residence is a weekend only dungeon that is available between Friday and Sunday for heroes looking for a rare challenge. This top tier 20 person raid will push you past your limits once you go up against the first corpse commander mock knock so a lot of fans who played in 2014 should know exactly what this dungeon is it's called rift's edge and it's back previously it's a seven player raid this revamped rift's edge is a five player dungeon for players over the level of 68 and the item level of 452 some people are looking to score for some dark Shar Feedstock, Xenobias, Breeze Crates, and a horde of other gear and materials. Now, the Rampaging RK9 Kennel makes its return with a few upgrades. Almost like Rift's Edge, this revamped Rampaging RK9 Kennel has a few surprises for everybody. Boss fights will be more intense than the original, but the rewards are worth the challenge. Players level 70 and an item level of 461 can enter at your own risk if you're hunting for Exidor gear. And a brand new Mount Collector's card event will be arriving soon as well. Similar to the Courageous card event held in April, the new Mount Collector's card event is the perfect way to beef up all of your card collections while you're tackling dungeon based vanguard requests excluding Rift's Edge and Commander Residence. And the event will add brand new mounts themed cards to the mix giving experienced collectors something fresh for their binders. This massive update also introduces a new equipment and accessory reroll method, class balance changes, and new training dungeons, plus changes to the PvP and the partner adventures. And that wraps up today's MMO news, so if you guys enjoyed the video then definitely hit that like button. If you have any friends who play Terra and needs to learn about this news, then share it to them. And at the end of it all, if you like daily content on MMOs and RPGs, gameplays, news, and reviews, then hit subscribe. And until next time, Outcast, it's been your boy KSCTV, signing out. Peace. I don't want to break down. I've been losing faith now. I've been in my mind getting used to the pain now. No one else to blame, and it's all on my own. I don't think I'll change. This is all that I know.